Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is going to be another tearless video. Well, honestly, if my voice is in it, you should just expect it to be a tearless video. But uh, I'll, I'll spice it up. I'll start it. I have a couple ideas. A little, little, little bit. No spoilers. They're not, you know, there's nothing really to spoil, because, you know. But, um, yeah. I, today, this is a video on Cuphead, and it's a great game. One of the best games I've played. Uh, DLC is coming out this year. I don't know. I don't think there's a release date yet, but when it comes out, who boy, that's I'm excited. I actually, I actually am. Like even if I don't sound like I am, it's gonna be real fun. I, uh, I beat it a real long time ago, and then I went back and I like I did everything in expert mode. Like I beat the game and then did everything in expert mode, and I just like it's so good, it's just a good game. But uh, some bosses like the first time I played it, each boss took me an hour probably, which is like. <sighs> But then I came back and it's like some bosses were just really easy. So this is a this tier list. Which ones are the hardest? Which one's the easiest? This is hardest. Just a little hard. Not that bad. Easy games. And then playing the blindfold on. So I'm like not even trying. So uh, let's just get into it. And then, yeah, it's just going to be up to like how hard they are. It's going to be off expert mode. But let's say for some reason someone's like non-expert mode is easier. Like I don't think there's anyone that is that. But like let's say there's one part I specifically remember it being easier. Then, um, it's just, yeah, so, that wouldn't make sense at all. If it was easier on the non-expert mode, I'll do the non-expert mode, but it probably won't be, so just assume it's on expert mode. Uh, this, it's the first boss in the game, the, the, the Vegetals, and it's the easiest boss in the game by far. It's just, like, even, even when I first got the game, and I've never played anything like, like a running gun or a bullet hell or anything like that, and I beat it first try... And it's it's just so easy. It really is. And then the onion, it's like... And keep in mind, I didn't use the uh, the roundabout big bouncy ball thing ever because I didn't really know about it until like the 20 minutes before making this video and I was looking stuff up. But uh, you can like speed, you can get through stuff really fast. Like you can skip phases of a lot of these bosses. So I did everything legit. And uh, even though this, this is still really, really easy. The frog boys, honestly... Okay, so I was doing it a certain way where I would use the tracker thing and the uh, like the green one and then the the red one and that one it was like it was like here here because the last phase I just would have to like through five phases of that thing without getting hit beforehand and then I would just couldn't do it and it sucked but then I used the roundabout and uh, I did it like the first try so the roundabout it was like it's right right here because the bugs if you had the track thing you don't have to worry about them you can just crouch and shoot but with the roundabout you just shoot behind you a bunch and then by the time the bugs come out they'll die so it's it's pretty easy harder than these guys though because i actually i actually have to do a, give a little bit of a little bit of practice on them uh blue ball boy he, he was pretty easy i don't know he was like he had patterns and you just had to react and then my main problem was like i wouldn't want to dash because then i'd have to like because I would use the charge thing sometimes, so I had to like recharge. And I just wouldn't. Then I get hit a lot because of that. But if you didn't do that, or you didn't play like a stupid idiot, it was pretty pretty easy. Patterns are easy as well. Hildeberg, um, I don't know. I'll put him here because it's like they weren't that hard. It was just there's so much little things. That it's like oh, I got hit. I gotta restart. It was so easy to just get, just get hit. So, like, if I just played it out, I probably could have beaten it real fast. But I always want to have the most health for the final phase. Sometimes I didn't. And then also, there was, like... I don't know why. I would always panic with the red saucers. I would I don't know how to time those. Like, the yellow ones I get. The red ones, I just don't... I just don't, you know, understand. So maybe if I did, it would go down to here. But I don't, so... Uh, the flower. Super easy, actually. Oh, no, I'm not going to put it there because that's like the easiest, easiest. You literally use the tracker thing and the red thing. The tracker, you just stand in the corner of the boss fight and shoot up. And you beat the first phase and then the second phase is easy. And then the third phase isn't that hard. But it's like because you're supposed to take damage on the second or first one, sorry. But like if you just avoid the seeds that are moving very slowly and shoot up, all the little stupid plants that try to kill you die. And I don't remember what he usually does in the first phase. Because I feel like he did more than just shoot things, like on easy mode. But I could just be wrong, he just did a lot slower. But in this, I just found it super easy. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm thinking, what did he do in the first phase? 
I don't care enough to look it up. I it's not my memory, whatever. I actually thought mm, I'll put there. The cake person, I don't know, they were pretty easy, but they weren't like they were enough to make me go Lissai, I have to do this again. Because the first time I did it, it was those stupid little beans that would just run on through that I just couldn't beat. But then I just figured out, you know, just gotta shoot them. Even though I knew that I just wouldn't because I'm not very smart at most periods in my life. But then I figured that out and it got a lot easier. But then when she's like in the final f phase when she's throwing two heads, that makes it a lot harder. But you can just kind of bounce off the, uh, I don't, uh, the peppermint I think it is. And, uh, and then just dash and avoid and it actually makes it a lot easier when the peppermint's just not even a threat because you can just parry it. So it wasn't, it's not that bad. Um, I beat him pretty easy, actually. The first phase is, like, it's pretty, it's a bullet, how, like, the definition of it. And then the second phase, it's, like, it's whatever, it's not that hard. And the third phase is super easy. Like, you can just sit up and bomb. But then when he, like, imitates Cuphead, and he, like, the gun and the stupid little hat as well, you'll know what I mean. Yeah, I'm at something on the screen. It, that's a little difficult. And the last phase isn't that hard. So just for the first, the first and four phase those are the hardest but the rest pretty easy also this guy's five phases like i think that's the most actually she is the most but that's a lot i hated the clown he was like i just this i would keep dying in the most stupid way in the third phase and i'd be like i know he's gonna shoot this out but i gotta jump because the dumb train and then he ah, he just did it and i was like what the heck man the first one's pretty easy but i kept being stupid and taking damage on that so it'd restart and i'd get tilted and then I'd restart and then I'd get more tilted and then i would start crying as i do and then i would have to sit for like half an hour because you know i have I, it's a long sessions no judging it's 2020 I do whatever i want and uh so that was, he took a little bit but he was i knew what i needed to do like for some of them i'm like i just gotta try things but for this guy i knew i needed to do i just wasn't doing it but i he's he's the hardest one so far also like I know I put all the world ones on the easiest part. That's because they were the easiest. I didn't like the bird. Uh, in the easy phase, he you can when he shoots the eggs, you can just go against the wall, and uh, you don't have to worry about them. And then he in the hard one, he shoots them against the wall, so he can't do that anymore. And I was like, well, I've never played this phase normally, and it just it was so much harder. Like, the first phase, I had never played it before, and I always just went through it easy, and then it was so much harder. Second phase, I actually found really easy. The third one was stupid, and I hate the dumb baby bird, because it was just so annoying. And the fourth one was like, eh, it wasn't too bad, but it was it was a little hard, but it wasn't that bad. But I just, I didn't like, I didn't like him. He made me a little, a little bit sad. A little, a little sad. Just the first one, the, I, he, he countered me, and I was, I didn't know what to do about it. Um, stupid dragon... Oh, he wasn't that actually i'll put him above the clown I, i'm not gonna put him here because i didn't find the second phase that hard and, and that's like the main complaint of the boss i'd say because people are like oh the fireballs are so random just stay at the very tippity top and just look at the bottom only and then when one jumps at you then you go to the next platform and then look at me do at the bottom because people are always focusing on the platforming and then a random fireball probably hits them and it's like, oh, well, this sucks. But it's like, it, it's clear what they're going to do. And if you're like, if you're going to jump to the next one, you're moving to the right. It's probably going to try to follow you. So if you jump up and you're on a top platform, it can't even, they don't jump that high. So it, you can just get around it pretty easily. Then again, if there is no top platforms for like five seconds, 10 seconds, that can happen sometimes, then it's a little difficult because you have to like crouch and dash accordingly while the platforms are moving. And they move pretty fast in the hard phase. But uh, with that's very specific happens. Specific happens, all right. It doesn't happen often. And then the third phase can be a little hard. Like I died on a couple times, definitely. But I think it's more like the tilt of the second phase that made it a lot harder than it seemed. Uh, the B wasn't that bad, honestly. I found the B pretty easy. It was like, I, I, apparently a lot of people struggle with the B, and I just didn't. There's no, I just didn't at all. Like, I don't know what you would struggle. That's, I'm just thinking, because it's like, the first phase is pretty easy. I think most people agree with that. The second one is easy, pretty much, because you can parry everything. 
and you don't need to. I guess it's because the platforms are moving and that makes it harder, but I don't really mind the moving platforms as much. And then, like, the, with the bullets, those can be annoying, but you can just crouch and... De also, you always use the invisible dash. Just always. It makes the game ten times easier. Like, God, it's... Half of these bosses would be so much harder without it. Like, this one would be harder. This one... Okay, so far just this one, but... And this one, but trust me, it's so... It's so helpful. It's... You need it. You need it. And, but that's not what it's about, it's about to be. The final phase is not that hard if you have the tracker on. Honestly, use the charger and then the tracker. I, I just, like, if you don't play the game, you're like, what is he talking about? But charger and the tracker, and then, or the charger and the red one, or the red one the tracker, that's usually the combo, and then there's some situations where you use something else, but that's, that's my preferred setup. Th the robot also wasn't that hard. I'd say it was harder than... I'll put them right there it wasn't that bad honestly like the final phase i don't know why like i found it it wasn't that too difficult because i could like micro i could manage because i think people try to shoot them like i'm just like, going off why people think it's hard when i didn't think it was as hard people try to shoot like they try to look at him and then shoot when they're not looking at their guy and then going back and forth just don't even care but i just hold right trigger like you always have to be in this game you're probably gonna hit him. He's like he has a pretty big hitbox, and then just look at your cup, and he just the things you can use to just go up and down, up and down. It's pretty easy, and then the stupid platforms. That that's what makes it annoying. But uh, besides that, it wasn't that hard. And then the first phase is like you just just shoot the heck out of the laser at the start, and then when it shoots, you go down, you parry, and then you destroy the bomb thing till it's gone, and then you destroy the laser. And then you just make sure you're shooting the bomb so they don't get too far. And then, um, hold on just a sec. I thought my foot was bleeding. I don't know why you need to know that, but it, it, it hurt it, okay? Shut up. And then you destroy the middle part. And then the heart, you can just use your super on that because you probably have a lot of buildup from the parries. And, uh, and then the second phase is a joke. But uh, it's just you got to make sure to be careful on the first phase. And then you want to go into the third one full health just so you because it is you can't get hit sometimes it's not easy by any means but it's like if you just make sure you know where you are it's not that bad this is so easy i don't know how much it was like nothing everything that she did in visit dash bang the stupid wave where you have to pair at the star and visit dash when she's her dumb jump just dash under her and she's like oh well i'm screwed now <laughs> uh what phase was even hard you have the tracker for the final phase so you don't have to shoot up you can just go around with the umbrella just keep dashing 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 and then maybe there's a rose just dash again it wasn't it just wasn't hard and then the second one the baby bottles like sometimes you jump and then you get instantly hit which kind of sucked but the things from the ceiling were they felt pretty dang slow so everything was reactable and not that hard so i think she's pretty easy the same for this i'll put him above here, I'll put her above the flower and the frogs. But I think he wasn't hard either. Like, the bottle caps in the second phase and the second fight were definitely harder than before. But they weren't that bad, honestly. And then the cat, the final phase, was a joke. Like, you can just focus the mice, and he literally sucks. Because his, his stupid little attack where he tries to slap you, it's so, like, easy. It's so, they fall so slow, and he's so predict, like, not predictable, because it's a game, obviously. But the animation is so long, it's just not hard at all. Like, I think, super easy boss. There's nothing about him that makes me go, that's hard, besides the bottle caps, but you can react and duck and weave and dodge and dive. The pirate... Dude. The pirate was... Do I think the pirate's easier than the stupid flower, though? No, I don't. Okay, sorry, I'm just... I like, that's how I be. The, fl the pirate was super easy. Like, I have nothing about the pirate that was hard. Because you know when the shark was coming, so just move to the boat, or in front of the boat. You know when the shark... <laughs> you know when the boat is going to shoot, so just jump. You can parry... Actually, this might be the one time where you don't want to have a visit dash if you put on auto parry. Because when the guy is shooting the octopus gun, <laughs> and the uh, he shoots the parry little ones... It's so easy, because if you have auto-parry on, it's, it's free. You don't have to worry about it. So you, you turn that on, 
and then you dash around, and then you just shoot him. Like, you have to use charge shot, charge shot, auto parry, and it makes it super easy. And the barrel's not even a problem, because you just dash when you see it. Just make sure, you just gotta pay attention to the barrel, and then the animations. Because you'll know when the ship's shooting something, because that's like super graft, or graft. I, I don't really care, I'm not gonna grammatically fix myself in the middle of this, but it's super easy. And then the final phase, it's uh, the big laser. And the, the little fireballs can be annoying, especially if the barrel does get in the way, but it hasn't happened for me really when I have done it. But then the big laser, it's just like, you can either parry it, which is not hard to hurt. Nah, <laughs> English, am I right? It's not that hard. Or you can just stick under the laser and then just dash while crouched. And then the barrel won't hit you. And then you can just keep keep going at her. And so that was, it was pretty easy. Honestly, I feel like this half of the video is just me saying it's pretty easy, but it was. Speaking of pretty easy, let's go to the girl who wasn't that pretty easy, but kind of easy. Um... She was... Oh. Okay, I'm pretty... This is why. The first phase, not that bad. You can kill the puffer fish when they're going up. The stupid little sword guys, they were kind of annoying. But besides that, the only time it was really scary is when she comboed the sword guys with the stupid turtle. Or the stupid turtle with the red fish, I think it was. I'm not being descriptive, but I don't know what to tell you. I don't have a, a book pulled up here. I should get a book. Send me a book if you have one on Cuphead. But uh, you could do that, and that was a little difficult, but not that bad. And then the eel part, if you just used your supers on the eels, they usually died. And then, obviously, I play Smash Bros, so I got that Smash Mash. So when she paralyzed you, like, by the time her paralyzed animation was done, I was already out of it. So I was like, the paralyzed thing didn't really come into effect with me, which was kind of helpful, because it's a lot harder with that in. But then just make sure you always have one or two eels only on the field. And then the third phase, it's like... You're, you, I, you're probably gonna die on that once or twice, but once you just, like, either get lucky when, when you get paralyzed in the spikes, and, because it is a small thing, and the spikes can just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna give up. But the spikes can sometimes, uh, get in the way, and they can be kind of annoying, but besides that, it's fairly easy. There's nothing you really have to worry about. Just make sure, just play, um, Mario. Or like Fox, someone that just presses buttons here. And just make sure that during this fight, you'll be playing, you'll be like, this is you shooting, and then you get frozen, it's like. Just now I did throw my controller across the room for effect, but it did land on a pillow, so don't worry, you don't just sue me, PETA. PETA, PETA, wait. I think it is PETA. Um, but yeah, it's it's not it's not that hard. Again, this is my opinion. If you found these hard, I'm not saying you're a dumb baby, but I, I'm just saying for me, it wasn't that bad. I think, okay, I think the train was my favorite, one of my favorites in the game, but I also didn't think it was that hard. Mm, um, I'm, I'll just, um, I'm, oh gosh, no one wants to watch me just go um for 17 minutes. I, I need content. I'll put them right there. The first phase could be a little annoying, but oh, this is also a stage with the auto parry on. Makes it super easy. The first one could be a little annoying with the eyeballs. You just gotta take your time. I use the red one and the green one because for the skeleton, like the guy with the big hands, he's super easy because you can just shoot up with the red thing. And then even if you're not even in the right place, like, the hands aren't going to hit you if you stand the, in the middle of the cart. So it's just like, come on, it's not difficult. difficile. And then the uh, two-headed people, I guess? You just stand in the middle, you wait for something to happen, you go to one end of the cart, like, obviously, accordingly, and then you shoot the run, you just keep shooting the red thing, and then you use your, the big super, I used the, the first one, with the big hook blast or whatever it was. And then you should be able to kill the guy before he even has a chance to attack. And then you can just switch to the green one. And then it's like, there's nothing you have to worry about. Because it'll also get the little dumb ghosts that are trying to move your cart. Also, if your cart's about to be moved, just like parry the like the side you're already on to the fullest. Or like, obviously, the candy. But if you parry the side you're on to the fullest, it doesn't even matter. Because it'll turn it off and then it just won't do anything. That's pretty easy. And then the final phase, uh, you just use the green thing. 
and if you make sure like the red little fireballs they're pretty like slow so you can just dodge those and then the bone it uh i'm pretty sure it goes like it starts moving at you according to where you are so if you jump really high when you first see it and then you'll go down obviously because that's how gravity works then you'll be fine because it'll just go right over your head and you don't have to worry about it and then the green thing the green tracker obviously allows you to just focus on just focus on the uh, what's it called the stupid little stupid little train boy so that i didn't think spirit train i'd love the spirit train that's such a good idea speaking of that king dice oh, he's such a gosh what a good game um okay it depends actually no it doesn't depend he was not super bad for me i'm not i just out of respect though i'll put him right here we'll move hilda down a little bit a little bit Hold on, I'm just gonna micromanage while I talk. Okay, so it depends what run you take. The best one for me is you go to the second one with the poker chips, and then you go to the one with the dominoes or the horse, the horse like skeleton horse. And then for the last one, you either go to you probably go to the eight ball, and then it's a free one, or you just go for hearts because like getting hearts is obviously what you want, and it's pretty easy to get all the hearts. Like you just gotta time your rolls. If you don't know how to time your rolls, then you're screwed. But little 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 tidbit, if uh you parry at the second that he claps his hands together and the dice appears, it'll always be one. So you can just get something off that for free, and that's nice. So if you have something that needs one, there you go, bada boom. Uh sponsors by Proof Block Cuphead getting dice number one, baby. Woohoo! But yeah, the main the main bosses weren't too difficult. Like some of them were a little annoying, like the monkey was kind of annoying, like the final one. The cups, the first one, not cups, sippy cup. The sippy cups were kind of annoying, like the first one. And the fi five, four, five, six, what was five? The rabbit. No, yeah, I, uh, once again, invisible dash, so the rabbit boss is almost, like, free. If you just can, if you can physically parry, which I can, thank goodness. But, like, you can just dash through his main attack, it's so... And then the final thing, if so you want to build up health, obviously, because I think the final phase is actually pretty hard. Because you're not going to be shooting a lot of the time, even like, because you can have the, uh, what's it called? I usually, I rock the red and the charge. But if you want to have the green, you can just shoot them while you're doing it. Which would not make it that bad, but you'd still have to go through like two or three phases of him. Just being annoying with his stupid little cards. And that can be a little annoying with your parries, because sometimes I'll feel like I jump over the first guard and the game's just like, Nope, sorry, we didn't do that. And then it also, the it's obviously the longest boss in the game, so it, it can take, you can take five minutes to get there, and then you can just die. Round one, which can uh, be obnoxious, but if you don't get tilted, he's not that, he's not that bad, what do you think about it? Because all the mini bosses are pretty, pretty free. I can honestly make a whole tier list about just King Dice bosses. Let me know if you guys want that. You probably don't, actually. I don't even know if I want to do it anymore. I don't want to suggest it. But uh, let's just move on from that topic. Final one, the devil. I'll put him... Yeah, he wasn't, <laughs> he was hard. The first phase, everything was predictable. The imps, like the little stupid imp guys that run through this, if like use the charge in the red one. The little imps, they're super easy to kill, which were like, they were the main problem for me when I first did it. I actually cheated when I first did it. I used the glitch where if you just shoot up after you uh, go to the second phase, then you don't have to go down to the tunnel and then you can just keep hitting them and you win. But then I actually did it, and I felt a lot better about myself, because I was like, wow, I'm really not... I beat Cuphead, but not really. But anyway, I think the devil, he's not... Like, the first... The second phase is actually really easy. Because you can parry the bombs really easy, and the axe, the angles are so wide, you can just react to them. The third phase can be a little difficult, but you just gotta kill... The, kill them all. Catch them all. Because the guys on the side, if you charge them, and then hit them, like, once or twice, the red ones, they die... And then the stupid little blue guys, you just keep using the red one, and they'll die before they hit you. And then you can get through all that without too much trouble. And then the final things where he's like, he's crying like a little, like a little YouTube commenter who's sad that they're. Uh, I don't. I honestly, I don't know what to put it with. I don't even know. I. Why would you make an analogy that does that? You're not okay. Whatever. So, it's not that bad. And then you can kill him. You can get the epic victory royale, and you beat the game. 
And I think this is a definitive Cuphead trailer. This should be applicable to everyone. If you don't agree, there is something wrong with you. You should probably see a doctor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think a large amount of my audience has played this game. My audience, gosh. What a goofball. Uh, I don't even think a lot of people have played this game. But you really should. Because when the DLC comes out, you best believe I'm going to be making a full er, video gameplay video on that. Out of all the stupid little promises I've made that I haven't come with, that one's happening. You best, you best believe it. Because I'm a little bit excited for it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'll figure out live streaming. I might live stream it and then cut that up. And then I'll probably do another tier list video. Probably just the new DLC. I don't know how much they're making. But uh, hopefully, hopefully a whole schwack. But uh, let me just see. Everything looks, everything looks good around here. Yeah, that looks good. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I've a lot of support lately. Like we've gotten like more subs than we have like in months. Which is, that's pretty cool. I don't know why, but actually, it's, I've been playing a lot of Smash now with my name in it. And uh, I've been getting a lot of boys in there, playing with some of the boys. If you want to play Smash my with me, I think my Switch code is in the description of my channel. You Check that out. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want next. What kind of, what kind of games, what kind of videos. And uh, have a lovely evening, afternoon, and day. Goodbye.